All right, scholars, as promised, we're going to be looking at this map to make sure that we can properly place the actual uh, items on the map in their proper geographic places for your test. So the first step that we're going to do is look at uh, placing the continents. So the continents are simply large land masses um, of land. All right, now that we know that, we'll get rid of the word continents. So if you remember the song, you'll know where to place these, uh, these actual items, uh, these places. So if you remember the song, we've got Asia and Africa. It starts off like this. We've got Asia and Africa in our hands. We've got North America and South America in our hands. We've got Europe and Australia in our hands and it's called Antarctica. So we've placed the seven continents, okay? Now we're going to talk about the oceans. Oceans are large bodies of water. All right, now remember the oceans are in between the continents. So th this is where oceans could lie. All right, the Arctic Ocean is going to be right above Asia. And that's right next to Russia where it's very cold and there's a lot of ice. So the Arctic Ocean is right at the top here. Next, we deal with the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean goes between which two continents? Goes between North America and Europe, and also between South America and Africa. So this is all the Atlantic Ocean right here. Next, the Indian Ocean is going to go between Africa and Australia. A good clue is to look for the country of India, which is right here. And that's where the Indian Ocean goes. And then lastly, the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean goes um, to the uh, east of Asia and to the west of North America. So you, you can either place it here or you can place it here, okay? All right, so that's the Pacific Ocean. Now rivers are, um, are represented on maps through uh, blue squiggly lines that run through um, the map. And the five major rivers in the world are the Mississippi River. Before I move this, I'd like for you to look here. It says Manvy, M-A-N-V-Y. That's a good thing, it's a good um, word uh, acronym to help you to memorize the rivers. So the Mississippi, the Amazon, the Nile, the Volga, and the Yangtze. Manvy. All right, the Mississippi River is located on North America. And you can see the blue squiggly lines right here that I'm following with the arrow. And that's where the Mississippi River is. Next is the Amazon River. Amazon River is right below in South America. Amazon starts in um, Brazil and, and goes over towards the um, mountains over here. The Nile River is the longest river in the world, and that is located right here um, in Africa. It starts right in, uh, in Egypt. Next is the Volga River, and that actually splits between two continents, Europe and Asia. And then finally, the Yangtze River is right over here, and it's in China. So we've located all the rivers now. Now the mountains or, or mountain ranges are over here. All right. Now the any time that you see a map with, uh, with triangles, that will represent a mountain range, a bunch of triangles. Uh, a simple mountain will be uh, represented by one uh, triangle, dark triangle. All right, the Andes, the Andes mountain mountain ranges, are, mountain range is in South America, all right, and it runs right down here by Venezuela. Okay, um, and then over here we have the Himalayas. The Himalayas are located in in um, in Asia, and they're right right here, right by the Yangtze River. Okay. The Alps are located near Switzerland, and the Alps are in Europe. You can see this mountain, mountain range right there. Next is Mount McKinley and Mount Everest. So the mounts are going to be the darker, um, the darker triangles. So it's either going to be here or it's going to be here. Mount Everest is located in the Him near the Himalayas. Okay, So that's the tallest mountain in the world. Then there's Mount McKinley which is located in Alaska. 
And then lastly, the Rocky Mountains, which are located um, in North America, and that's a mountain range. So looking at this, this is your map of the world, placing all of the continents, rivers, oceans, and mountains in their proper places, exactly what you're going to have to do um, for the geography test tomorrow. Hope you enjoy and practice looking at this um, so that you can um, know where places go.